and welcome to another episode of the Dog On It Trucking Podcast. We have a big announcement being made today, and we have our guest, Mr. Matt Richardson of KRTS, uh, who has chosen this platform to make an announcement. Awesome. Matt, welcome. How in the heck are you doing? Hey, Chris, I'm great. Thanks for having me. I uh, really appreciate uh, the exposure we're going to get here. Well, I, uh, I'm excited because obviously I know what the announcement is already and it's something that has been worked on for a while. But before we get to that announcement, let's just talk a little bit about KRTS and Matt Richardson. Um, and I guess the question that's on my mind the most, uh, and for our viewers who don't know, KRTS is a truck driving school. Uh, is that how I say it properly? Yeah, that's that's one part of what we do. Absolutely. We are a registered private career college. And uh, part of that is, you know, offering programs for individuals to get their AZ and DZ licenses. Yeah. And what else does KRTS offer? So we offer a, a wide range of training under our, our private career college uh, registration. We have seven registered programs uh AZ training, DZ training, heavy equipment, combination programs, uh, dispatch programs. Uh, so wide variety of, of programs under our, our registered school. Uh, and then we also have a, a corporate training side where we deliver many different educational uh, services uh, and consulting services to companies uh, in both Canada and the United States. And it's that corporate training side, why we're here, just to give a little teaser um, for the audience. Uh, how has uh, COVID affected KRTS? Uh, it, it's definitely had had an effect like uh, like it has on most businesses. Uh, we were forced to to shut down uh, by the ministry who, who oversees us. Uh, so that that obviously had a had a major effect on on business. And uh, that's on the student side. And then on the corporate side, um, you know, companies just weren't for a, a number of months interested in having third party providers come on site to deliver training due to the, the safety concerns. So we did some some virtual training, uh, both corporately and, and classroom wise for our students. But other than that, for, for a little while there, there wasn't much, uh, much going on. Um, fortunately, since we were able to, uh, to reopen, things have been going going good, things have been steady. Uh, the student side has been great. The corporate side has been been picking up continuously. Um, we're continuing to look at new and innovative ways to be able to get our services out to our, our customers uh, and our partners. Um, obviously, uh, like many other places, the number of safety protocols and procedures that are, are in place now um, go well above and beyond what was in place before you know, COVID was a thing. Um, but we want to make sure not only our, our students and, and the companies that we're delivering training to are safe, but, uh, you know, our team here at KRTS is, is like family to us and of utmost importance. So we want to make sure their, their safety is, is front of mind as well. And I know part of what you're talking about, you're referring to uh, our, our masks. I, mine's never very far away from me anymore. Um, yeah, so absolutely. Of, you know. But anyway, you're here to make an announcement. Uh, why don't we uh, get right into it? Awesome, yeah, we're, we're very excited at KRTS about this, Chris. Um, this is a partnership with KRTS and yourself at Safety Dog um, to deliver a couple of virtual driver safety meetings over the American Thanksgiving long weekend. Um, going back a number of years, you know, long before my time at KRTS, um, the American Thanksgiving weekends were always full of driver meetings for us, going on site to companies, uh, delivering educational material to their drivers. And I know that's something you've done over a lot of American Thanksgiving weekends as well, Chris. So you know, obviously with, with COVID, um, you know, having a, a large number of people together is not, uh, not a safe option. Companies are looking for other ways to get educational material in front of their drivers. These driver meetings are something that a lot of insurance companies require. You know, they're to say they don't care about COVID isn't the right wording. Um, they 
aren't letting COVID affect their requirements for what companies need to provide their their drivers in order to make sure that you know that risk is staying um, in in a place where they they remain insurable. Um, so we we looked at this and again in partnership with you thought why can we not do these driver meetings virtually? Why can they not be open to multiple companies at the same time? Uh, and gives us the opportunity to get some very important educational information out to these drivers. Yeah, I think that's awesome. I mean, uh, again, doing it virtually and allowing companies to keep their employees and their driver force safe um, or as safe as possible during these times is, um, I think, really important. Uh, so Absolutely. I think that, that was the why. Uh, because traditionally, you're right. I would often uh, be asked to do four in-person driver meetings over this long weekend uh, that's coming up in November. So yep. um, who can attend? So any anybody can attend, any carriers or drivers uh, on either side of the border, Canada or the U.S., the information that's going to be provided uh, definitely transfers over those those borders. Um, so drivers in both Canada and the U.S. can attend. Companies on both sides of the border can register their drivers. One of the big benefits about this for American companies is, you know, the fees are in Canadian funds. So um, that, that that's pretty beneficial to them with the exchange being what it is. Yeah, and I know we uh, worked on the price point, and uh, I think it's in, in your words, you uh, – uh, said it was quite reasonable already, um, and and I agree. I, I think uh, the price point is uh, reasonable. So that's who yeah, can. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to follow up. One of the things that you know in our, our meetings leading up to this is we we wanted to make sure that the the price point was not uh, not a barrier to entry for companies, no matter what size they were. Uh, or for individual drivers, if they decided that this is something that, that they wanted to take place. Um, you know, I'll talk about the, the price point since we have the platform here, Chris. You know, for $49.99, a company can enroll uh, an individual driver or an individual driver can enroll themselves. For $4.99, you can register up to 20 drivers. Uh, and if you have 20 plus drivers, you're looking at 900 bucks. And we're not capping that 20 plus drivers either. So, you know, if you're a fleet of let's call it a hundred drivers for, for easy math. I'm not a math major. Um, you're delivering a, a driver meeting for $8 and, and 99 cents a driver. I, uh, I haven't seen that pricing many places out there. No. And, and I just thought of this question along with driver meetings, um, we need proof that the, uh, driver showed up. Um, how yep. are we handling that? So there will be certificates uh, of completion for any drivers uh, who attend. One of the questions that's been posed to us uh, by some fleets already is, you know, if they're going to have eight or 10 or 12 drivers, if they have the, the space to, you know, safely physical distance, could we provide all the, all of them with certificates, even though that they all might not be on the screen. And, and the answer to that is yes, we'll have a, we can have a sign in sheet that is sent to the company ahead of time. Um, to you know, to verify that the individuals are are there, uh, so those certificates can can be provided. I mean, that's what the insurance companies want to see as well, right? Yeah, uh, we need to be able to document um, attendance. So, um, you know, these different digital platforms for those people who don't know, uh, you can see who has attended. And as you already said, in the case where there are multiple people using the same com computer and perhaps a company's projecting it onto a large screen and as you said socially distance uh, correctly they can have more than one driver uh, attend from one uh, local address so in that case we absolutely. just need documentation from the company yeah absolutely yeah that's perfect um before we get into what the, the uh, items are or the topics are and who the speakers are how do they register and we'll do this again at the end but yeah, so uh, you can register through KRTS. Kim Seitz Mahill, uh, one of our team members here, will be looking after registration. Um, we, we can get her contact information, that uh, email out, but number is 800 771 8171. And that's Kim Seitz Mahill. 
and uh, she'll look after all, all the registrations. And as we have drivers and companies register, we will get the meeting links out. One thing that's important to note, um, there's going to be two offerings of this, um, one on Friday the 27th, one on Saturday the 28th both from 10 to 12. We wanted to go with two dates to be able to provide the flexibility uh, for both driver and uh, drivers and companies uh, so they have two options to attend. So, you know, with, with the registration, um, there, there are limits. So we do recommend that you get, get on things uh, ahead of time and early. You know, the, the virtual platforms have, have limits as to the number of attendees and we want to make sure everybody gets the, the same experience. Um, in the research that we've done leading up to making this decision to deliver it, it sounds like multiple companies of all sizes are going to get involved. Uh, we do have the option to add a third time if needed, uh, but would definitely suggest getting on uh, registration sooner rather than later. All right. And I would agree with that. Who, what are the topics, Matt? So there's going to be a, a couple different topics, uh, the same topics on both days. Um, yourself, Safety Dog, is going to be talking about, <laughs> is going to be talking, uh, always a hot topic leading into this time of year, uh, winter driving, uh, along with speed and space management. Um, then we're going to have Carrie Weir, Wierchowski, uh, who is the Director of Roadside Inspections for CBSA. She's going to be talking about how to ensure yourself uh, as a driver a good way scale experience, as well as the North American expectations for pre and post trip inspections. Yeah, and just for the our listeners and viewers, in case they don't know CBSA Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance, uh, it is how the inspections are conducted at roadside. Uh, by CBSA trained inspection inspectors, which is Canada, Mexico, and the United States. So, and Carrie uh, works uh, for CBSA. So she's truly an international speaker um, and she'll do a, an awesome job, I'm sure. Absolutely. What else do we need to uh, make the viewers aware, Matt? I think we've covered a, a lot of it, Chris. I think it's just, uh, again, important to note that we can't let, uh, you know, this pandemic take away from, from ongoing education and ensuring that uh, our, our professional drivers are, are safe and have the information required uh, to be out there on the road to help with overall uh, road safety. Uh, and this is a, a great opportunity to make sure that that education is continuing uh, at a very reasonable price point and in a fashion that uh, everybody can remain uh, as safe and, and healthy as possible. Yeah, I think it's it's a great offering. Registration information is below. You want to talk to Kim Steisner Hill. Uh, her email and phone number are in the show notes below. There are limits as to how many people we can accommodate. So the sooner you register, the better. Uh, is that it? Did I cover it all, Matt, with that? I think so, Chris, and I just want to take the opportunity again to thank you for, for using the platform and we're, we're excited to be partnered with, with yourself uh, at Safety Dog for this uh, venture. Uh, thanks, Matt, and I'm excited. Uh, again, this is November. What are the dates again? The 27th and 28th of November, two offerings, uh, one offering each day, both from 10 a.m. to 12 noon Eastern time. Right, and that's the Friday and the Saturday, uh, not on the Thursday where we we might disrupt uh, family events. So on and the, NFL football. Yeah, <laughs> there, there. I wouldn't have thought of NFL football, but yes, you would. Uh, what team are you do you back? I'm a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan, and for those thinking that uh, maybe a bandwagon Buccaneers fan because we uh, got Tom Brady this year. I have been a fan of the Bucks since the late 90s and struggled through a lot of uh, bad years. So, so far, I'm liking this year. Well, there you go. And I, I hope your affiliation or your support of the Bucks doesn't cost us any registrants. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for Absolutely. your time, Matt. I really appreciate it. Have a great Thanks, day. Thanks, Chris. You as well. hope you loved the show as much as I did. Please leave us a like, a thumbs up, 
a review, a comment, a rating if it is in your heart. Thank you so much. And I do really appreciate your time. And join us again next week for another exciting interview.